today we're going to go over the uh, Intuity Home Automation uh, system. So with that, I'll uh, turn it over to you, Ryan, and we'll get started. Well, thank you, Bill, and thanks, everyone, for joining. Uh, I uh, am the market manager for Legrand, so managing the greater Midwest area, about nine states, ten if you count Northwest Indiana. So uh, wide-reaching audience and, and certainly uh, on the move on a regular basis. So happy to be in market as you see fit after seeing the, this content, this product. We're seeing a lot of traction with Intuity because the smart home uh, is definitely a, a buzzword uh, primarily at the builders. And I spend 50% of my time uh, at the builder as well as um, – about 40% of my time talking with dealers and integrators. So I'm very much interested in, in working at that builder level uh, with all interested parties. Uh, with Intuity, we are moving forward with a brand new product. Uh, we've designed this product like we do all of our products with the sales process in mind, and knowing that when we go to the builder, it is a sales process that has quite the cycle to it. Uh, and then once decisions are made, those decisions can, can move at different rates as well. And at the end of the day, uh, we want our products to be simple and intuitive and, and easy to use. We believe uh, that just having that doesn't work. We need the professional installer. All of these systems are professionally installed, and uh, we count on well-trained folks like yourselves to bring these products to market for our customers. Uh, we don't sell systems uh, through the, the do-it-yourself uh, and Saturday uh, morning, you know, retailers. So this is all done through our dealer distribution model, which is tried and true and, and adds tremendous value to the builder as well. So how does this tie into what we can do as a complete solution? Many of the uh, technology components that come through on queue uh, may or may not be so well known at, at all of the builders, but certainly many of them have seen our enclosures and other, other technologies. More than likely, they've seen our Pass and Seymour products. And with the upswing of Adorn and the wire mold products that are keeping outlets off these beautiful backsplashes, they're, they're starting to see those products. At the end of the day, it means that we're relevant to the builder at all stages of construction, whether it be uh, rough or, or trim or final, uh, final walkthrough. Uh, but you as an integrator with would need to be involved in all those steps, and, and that's important to the builder. You're not just the guy hanging something on the wall or the, the gal coming through after. Uh, everything is, is critical at all phases. So why is Intuity important? We, we've done some research of our own, but more importantly, the Caldwell Banker information that we see here. Uh, a third of real estate agents feel that smart homes sell faster, and 57% of millennials, I like to call that one out as well on this slide, they, they view technology not just as what they want, they view it as an investment. That's a strong word to use around it, an add-on or, or an option when building a home. But it's certainly the expectation when you have folks buying homes, whether it be their first or their second home, and they're used to uh, having phone calls and doing a Pandora and whatever else in their car seamlessly, uh, when they come home, they want to listen to Pandora at their house. They have a, a $30,000 vehicle that can do it. Why wouldn't their $300,000 house be able to do it? And uh, definitely home entertainment and, and having an experience is definitely something that millennials tie back to. When you look at who has the product, it's definitely the folks that have the income. Uh, but it's not necessarily just the folks that have the income, uh, especially with Intuity. Uh, the Intuity product reaches uh, into a space that fits the production model homes. We're looking at 2,500 to 3,000 square foot houses, anywhere from 250 to Five or 600,000 depending on the market that you're in. And we definitely get used in environments and get pulled into the luxury environment, uh, but at the end of the day, that's where that product is, is designed to fit, and that's where we have the most success uh, with the options being chosen, even, if, even after it's become a standard. Smart homes save time without question. I, I know I have a fun getting out of the house with my 8-year-old and 6-year-old. Uh, the two of them are great kids, but they're usually stopping off the fridge one more time or grabbing a snack or they left the light on or this, that, the other thing. It's really nice to be able to just shuffle everybody out to the car, use Intuity to launch my goodbye uh, scene. My garage door goes down and all the lights go off and we're out of there. And so uh, that definitely saves a lot of time as well as money. I used to come home, the lights on all the time. I know it's not a unique story. 
Uh, I know I did it to my dad <laughs> and mom uh, when I was growing up. And uh, having one button or having an app that knows what's going on and make sure everything's uh, where it should be when you're when you're gone is, is a great way to save some, some coin. You know, the focus is on younger adults, but as we look at some of the statistics here, uh, you know, I don't want to drag this out too long, but the stats tell a nice story. Uh, it's just about everybody. Both demographics, 18 to 45 plus, are involved with recommending smart homes uh, and the technology that comes with it. It makes life easier. They can put a thermostat on the wall and it knows if they're home or they can adjust it from their phone on their way home or they can unlock a door. They can do those things. And that's almost become the cost of admission anymore uh, with products. If, if someone's buying a new product, typically a top three question is, will it work with my phone? And that, that's at all ages. So what is Intuity? Intuity is a new product. It's a next generation product. If you've worked with Unity, uh, our previous home automation solution, uh, you know that we had some improvements that could be made. And this is a software-based, app-driven, cloud-based solution. We deliver on whole home entertainment with multi-room audio and digital audio. We can control the lights. We have video door intercom and cameras. You can have whole home communication with this single Cat5 single gang intercom solution. We tie into the security alarms and door locks and thermostat. So we can bring all that together in a single app and make, um, make those products work in concert. Why does the builder care? Why does the homeowner care? These are easy to install and repeatable solutions. You're going to find that in the homes that we described a moment ago, you're going to be able to provide solutions that aren't in the five-figure range to the builder or even the homeowner. You can absolutely do that with Intuity. A lot of our competition is quite a, quite a choice when it comes to the monetary investment that's required behind it. Uh, with the homeowner, uh, they're going to have a five-year warranty, and, and a the builder's going to like that. The integrator's going to like that. That's parts and labor. So if you certify installs, that homeowner will have a five-year parts and labor warranty, and they can reach out to the ground for support. And we can make sure that any efforts that need to go into getting modules swapped or getting the product up and running or any truck rolls that are built uh, need to get uh, reimbursed at the appropriate rates. So, and we can do that with certified Intuity installs. The app is free. The homeowners can load it onto as many devices as they'd like and, and pay no licensing fees. Audio works for free. Lights work for free. We wanted to come to market with a, a non-recurring revenue-based solution because we feel that making sure that the homeowner can make the choice one time and be done, buy the product and be done with it. We don't want to have a situation, and certainly we're seeing the builders agreeing with this, where in three years when the initial maybe contract runs out on security monitoring, or maybe they change their monitoring solution a little bit, but they don't want to lose using their phone for the lights or the garage door, and with Intuity, they won't lose that functionality. They're able to access the system anywhere because it is cloud-based, so a simple username and password sign-in will allow them to access their home anywhere they have a data connection. We're focused on the structured wiring topology. We're not looking at a do-it-yourself solution with this. We're looking at a, a mobile interface, a cloud-connected interface, and certainly when it comes to the third-party solutions like locks and thermostats, garage doors, security panels, those are categories that LeGrand doesn't develop or sell products in, and we're comfortable with that. We've partnered with the top players like Quickset, Yale, and Schlage, and Linear on the garage door, and Honeywell, and Nest, Train. We're focused on bringing those solutions to market. You may have also seen where LeGrand purchased Q-Motion. So certainly the shade control is on the radar and something that we're looking to integrate to this as a third-party solution as well, which will now become a LeGrand solution thanks to that acquisition. So the connected home ecosystem, how do we look at it? We look at it in many ways, uh, but we certainly see the foundation still being the connected infrastructure, the cabling, the hardwired network, uh, Wi-Fi is a great solution in some instances, but I think we would all agree that hardwiring products is the way to go. When you, when you turn a light switch on, when you flush a toilet, those infrastructures in a new home always work. And when you hardwire and you have the right topology behind uh, the networking and behind the connected home products, they'll always work as well. 
the homeowners might accept buffering when they're watching Netflix, but more and more it's becoming a solution where they're like, this, this is, we got to solve for this. I'm trying to watch a movie here. This, this ain't cool. Much like your lights flickering isn't cool. <laughs> so we still see that foundation is, is critical, and even more so as technology becomes uh, more and more dependent on the Internet and, and hardwired solutions. We stand apart when we talk about our intercom solution. We stand apart when we talk about our multi-room audio solution and our lighting solution. Affordable, tried and true, uh, not new solutions. We've delivered on these products for 10, 12, and 15 years. What we're doing with Intuity is we're bringing it all together with a streamlined app and a, and a great cloud platform to simplify the use of those products. A lot of our competition is responding to the need for intercom. Believe it or not, in my territory that I described in the upper Midwest, greater Midwest, intercom leads the nation. My colleagues don't sell as much intercom as this territory does. And that's, that's the way the great, West, uh, the great Midwest homes are built, right? We, we certainly see the floor plans that are, are unique uh, to our, our area, and it lends itself to intercom being a great solution. And having video door entry that not only looks good, but is Again, affordable. We tie the home solutions out to apps through the cloud. Why do we use the cloud? The cloud is what allows us to have a single uh, email address and password. It allows us to have access to the system inside or outside the home. And this cloud will allow for the same security as the banking apps that you're using today. 256-bit encryption, rock-solid solution, in a secure data center, and uh, nothing, nothing to stress about. Anyone that is uh, comfortable using mobile banking and credit card apps should be comfortable using uh, the Intuity platform on, on cloud-based. So what is the ecosystem? As we move around the left-hand uh, side here, you see the app, and then you see digital audio. So the LeGron digital audio product is the solution for whole home entertainment. Uh, those of you may know uh, Player Portfolio, uh, you may know Sonos. You may know uh, other whole home audio solutions. For us, it's digital audio, a hardwired, tried and true, great sounding solution, award winning solution. We also have uh, the intercom solution. Only our intercom solution will tie out to this. When we talk about IP cameras, it's the Legrand IP cameras. Right now, we have an indoor and an outdoor solution. We also have a dome camera on the way, as well as an NVR that we're developing as we speak. When we talk about the lighting control for Intuity, we're focused on the lighting control delivered by Legrand. It's an RFLC, radio frequency lighting control product that's been part of the Wattstopper brand and now in the Pass and Seymour family. And it's a solution that has 100 foot range and a true universal dimmer. So a single skew solution for all of your LED, CFL, incandescent halogen needs. And it comes to market at a price that's competitive with uh, Casita pricing. In fact, it's more attractive uh, price-wise there. So that means it's more aggressive price-wise than Radio Raw and delivers on that Radio Raw performance. And in fact, our lighting solution has recently uh, been updated. And what's great about it is there's zero need for any front-end hardware to make the light switches work. You can install three or four or even just two true universal radio frequency lighting control dimmers, make them work together, and have them accessible in Intuity or in the standalone app simply by swapping out the light switch. They wire like other uh, lighting load-bearing devices would in, in, a, in a home. Very easy to, to add to a home. We use uh, the RFLC bridge to take network commands and uh, turn those lights on and off. We use a bridge to talk to Z-Wave as well. Those are centrally located devices. The Z-Wave bridge and Z-Wave protocol operates within the expected 30 to 40 foot range. And again, our lights operate on a 100 foot range. We use Z-Wave to talk to thermostats. So we have Honeywell and Train with Z-Wave thermostats. Door locks from Quickset, Yale, and Schlage, as well as the linear Z-Wave garage door adapter. It's a two wire dry contact Z-Wave adapter that's essentially universal. Security is uh, tied in with a four wire adapter to an RJ45 connection right at the module. So it's a hardwired connection. So when we look at Intuity, essentially what Intuity is are the SKUs that you see on the screen here. We have the main module, we have the bridges, and the power supply. 
The other product that you see is the command center, and the command center is a three-in-one solution. It's our touch panel. It houses an iPad Mini 1, 2, or 3, and it also allows for intercom and digital audio to play through a single chassis, a three-gang ring. Intuity 2.0 is here, so we've added already to a, the look and feel, as well as the third-party solutions that are available with this product. So with Intuity, uh, we launched in July, and we didn't have Nest at first, and we didn't have GarageDoor at first, and we didn't have a consistent look and feel with our app, and now we do. And we've also added uh, the Z-Wave extender, and we've added the capability to send Intuity six simultaneous commands. And what that means is everyone in the house can use Intuity without issue. The command center is a, uh, again, three-in-one solution. So it's where you can permanently dock your iPad Mini 1, 2, and 3. It's where you can have your whole home communication. And you can tie out digital audio. It can either be, with class D amplification, a 20-watt zone to a pair of speakers or a 60-watt zone. Listening to Pandora and iHeartRadio and Sirius XM and all of your iTunes music and anything that's on your phone can all play uh, through that, as well as the other digital audio solutions throughout the home. You can see that it, uh, again, is a three-gang ring, and it ties out with a single Cat5 for intercom and a Cat5 and a 16.4 for digital audio, effectively wiring just like those products would if they were standalone devices as part of the system. The control module C here is what integrates all the systems. Intuity is waiting for all the systems we've talked about with lights and audio and intercom, uh, et cetera, et cetera, to be tied in. This is a network device, so we have a LAN connection here. It also will tie into our intercom module if you're using intercom. This allows the doorbell to ring and tell Intuity to turn the port light on. It also allows the doorbell to ring and tell it to interrupt music. Uh, should you be listening to, uh, to your favorite, favorite tunes real loud, you don't hear the doorbell, uh, the doorbell can, can interrupt that music for 10 seconds. And the RS-232 RJ45 connection you see, again, ties back to the security panel with a four-wire adapter, allowing those uh, security panels to tie in and also uh, talk to Intuity. I want to point out that the security panel is integrated into the home as a standalone solution. Intuity interfaces with the security panel as a virtual keypad and a virtual keypad only. Here's the bridge. It's essentially the size of an iPhone 6 Plus. Centrally located, single gang install, single Cat 5, ties back to the enclosure. The Z-Wave and the RFLC bridges look identical. And again, I recommend that they're locally centrally located um, and uh, making sure that they have uh, plenty of reach to the devices they're going to talk to. The Intuity Bridge Power Module, that's where the bridge is powered, so that single Cat 5 runs back to this module. A single power supply, the PW7760, powers those bridges, and in the box you'll have a pass-through patch cable to power the main module, the HA7000 for Intuity. So what I'm saying is that a single brick will make Intuity, single power supply will make Intuity uh, come to life and be ready to talk to all the systems uh, installed around it within the home. If you're looking for third-party specific SKUs, that information is available here on this slide. I can make that available in PDF format. Bill has that as well in PDF format. More importantly, uh, you can talk to anyone at, at, uh, at Allnet, and they have this information. And if you'd rather just visit Intuity uh, on the web, you can go to lagrand.us slash Intuity. And within the Resources and Downloads tab, you'll see third-party integration. And this very slide that you're looking at here is available on our website. This talks to, again, the specific SKUs within the brands that I've mentioned. There are kits available. So if you're wanting to go to market with a kit that just does Z-Wave, we have that. If you're going to be adding lights, uh, maybe in one or two zones, we have a kit that adds that bridge in as well. These kits are incredibly uh, efficient uh, at price. Why do I like to say that, right? Incredibly cost efficient. Builders love being able to have these as a standard. Uh, and, and dealers love to be able to deliver these solutions because they are uh, so affordable on the front end. Where are we taking this product? The home automation roadmap that we have, we've already talked about Android and Nest and Schlage and all the things we've added already. So right away, in the next couple, four weeks, we're looking to add DSC security panels. We're looking to add network security panels, and we're looking to add Zigbee. 
that will work in concert or, or in, in line with RFLC and, and with Z-Wave, expanding that wireless technology of the system. The Honeywell Vista panel for security alarm 21 IP, we're working on that. More garage door openers. Being able to talk to the front door from your, your smartphone. So IP intercom is coming. I mentioned the NVR for camera recording is coming. And you can read everything else that's, that's coming, more importantly, some third-party sensors and smart bulbs. As we move through the next uh, months and, and next couple of years, we're looking to, of course, continue to evolve the platform, adding voice controls. We're seeing that more and more important with Amazon Echo and Siri and uh, whatever else is next. Of course, Apple Watches and Fitbits and all the wearable technologies, pardon me, and then uh, the video and theater control, certainly something we're looking at. Right now, we're leaving that to the, uh, the solutions that, that do that. Typically, those are not as cost-effective solutions, and we certainly recognize it's important to get there. Uh, but at this time, uh, that would be where we would move uh, to those different solutions, and Intuity would no longer be the right fit. And that's okay. Again, we're built for that 2,500-square-foot home, 250000 to five, $600,000. We get it, and we're, and we're, totally, we're totally comfortable with that providing a rock-solid solution that, that knows its place in the market. There is an app that allows you to demo this. You'll be able to do a 360 demo if you download Intuity Home Tour. You'll be able to uh, tie everything out uh, to showing how the lights work, to showing how scenes work, showing how the doorbell works. It all comes together. I talked about a five-year parts and labor warranty, certified installs. Why would I do that? Well, if I'm an installer, I used to run an integration company. I like knowing that the labor is covered. And I like knowing that my homeowner's product is covered. So anything that has Legrand on it is taken care of for five years if you certify jobs. We'll make sure that you're listed on the website and get you some JPEGs you can put on your website. We'll help you with configuration. We'll get you design assistance. We'll expedite RMAs. Part of the loyalty program as well for certifying jobs is leads and discounts. All sorts of access to tech support so you're not waiting on hold. The homeowner can call Legrand first. I know that you all love to stay and provide good service to your homeowners, but when you're out in the field trying to get things accomplished, it's, it's good to know that you can trust us. Uh, if you so choose to have your homeowners call us, we'll take care of their questions and concerns and get them to a good place on the product. The requirements for this are taking the exams and the, and the certification online, go.bluevolt.com slash Legrand, go.bluevolt.com slash Legrand, or at legrand.us, our website, click on training at the bottom of the page and take the certification uh, Intuity exams for digital audio and installing Intuity and intercom. And then you can register the systems. Each one that you do is, is unique in its certification, and there's different wire mappings and all sorts of follow-up that happen, and we make sure that everything's installed in the right way. You can't just go in somewhere, buy this product, slap it on the wall, and get a five-year warranty. We at Legrand want to make sure that Again, that added value the professional install adds is, is backed up. So that's what we're looking to do. Folks that are invested in learning and being trained in the product, folks that are invested in doing great work for their customers. And then once that's done, the homeowner signs an affidavit that they're good to go and have been trained, and they receive a project code. If an integrator would certify jobs and decide to retire or decides to not do business anymore, if you're doing certified work, We'll find you as those homeowners call with their five-year warranty, and we'll connect them with folks that do certified installs that can help them do their repairs, and you will get parts and labor coverage on those jobs as well. So the homeowner owns that warranty, and they can trust that Legrand, uh, a very large worldwide company, will back their products. So how do you get started with this product? Getting started with this product, talk to your builders. Who's their target market? Where do they want to be on price point? Where where are they building? How many are they building? And then we have configurators that you would get from me if you're interested, and I'm happy to be in contact with you and go on those builder calls or support you as you go on those builder calls. There are uh, reps like me all over the United States. You can see that purple region there, uh, Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, North and South Dakota, and Northwest Indiana. So I'm all over, but I'm happy to do whatever it takes to make things happen for you and help your business. And then you can get a quote. There's places to go on the website, where to buy, reach out to me directly. However you want to do that, we can get you connected. And then simply 
within that configurator, you can add your margins, you can add your charges, you can add any recurring charges, and you can present a nice, clean solution. Here's that website for training. Once everything starts to roll, this is where that training comes into play. This is an example of the training we provide. I used to be the trainer uh, for Legrand for the last two years, and the, over the last six weeks have transitioned into my market manager role in the territory I've, defi I've defined for you. So you may be wondering, wow, this is pretty good. You sound like a trainer. There's good reason for that. <laughs> and we still have two trainers, Jason and Josh, that I can help connect you with for private webinars, in-person training, being on site. I can be on site, all sorts of support with training. So with that said, I want to uh, thank you for joining. I know that this has been a recorded session, so you can review this at any time. And uh, by wrapping it up right now with this, uh, the website, again, lebron.us slash onq. You can see our tech support numbers and, again, our training site. Thank you for watching this recorded webinar. Please let us know what you think about it by using the like or dislike button below or by leaving us a comment.